get me, motherfucker. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ghouls and goblins of all ages to another short of the On The Slab Horror Show. And this week, we are talking about the latest trailer in my favorite franchise, Halloween. And it's all about Halloween Ends, which comes out on October the 14th. The trailer dropped today. Um, it's going to be an interesting five or ten minute discussion here with the three of us. Of course, I'm joined by Tombstone Ted and, of course, the G-Man, Greg Flanagan. And uh, interesting, boys. Obviously, this is one that we have been looking forward to um, for quite a long time. And obviously, this mm. I know you guys have become, you in particular, Greg, have become a, a major fan of uh, the franchise if we look at the first movie and the last two. This timeline, definitely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This timeline leading into the penultimate movie, which, of course, is out this month. Um, interesting uh, topic of conversation here that I'm just going to drop in that might cause some little mini debate. I'm not too sure because I've seen, uh, I've seen some discussion online already um, and it coincides with opinions that we've had on trailers on recent shows. Mm talking about are they too long are they showing too much a lot of people like myself and uh, and kind of hardcore fans of this this franchise have said that uh, too much has been shown already in the trailer um, yeah. and then some people are saying oh well I wanted to see it but I am just going to throw this one at you first Ted and then I'll give my opinion after Greg chimes in yeah I'm 50-50 I do think they showed probably a bit too much like we know um we know the daughter is dead because they they say he killed she, he killed my daughter so we know that get that, that is, get that man a fucking knighthood yeah but like judy fucking Greer is an annoying cunt it, well it doesn't matter about that like we know that she's dead so like that's that's quite a major spot we know she's dead do you know what i mean yeah. um and we've seen a lot of you know him uh like we've seen a lot of michael and uh like walking by and we've seen him in the house. Like you know where seen... he's found now as well. Yeah, we know that I didn't like. No. Nope. Now I'm the old 50, float 50 down here, Georgia. I'm 50 50 on that and I'll get to that in a minute. But I think there's a lot of a lot of stuff was shown there. But I think that these have, have been very smart because they did and it didn't go where we expected at all. Um because I believe the previous trailer or for the, the trailer for the previous film showed him surrounded by everybody. And everyone was like, oh, for fuck's sake, like, we already know how it ends. And then it didn't end the way everyone thought. So they have been very smart in when they've done this before. So although I think they showed a lot, I think they have, I think it, there's a lot of double bluffs in there. I think a lot of that might be, you know, uh, people dreaming or, you know, imagining or thinking up how things are going to go. And I don't think that the, some of the stuff we've seen, I don't think is going to necessarily be the real part of the story. Mm. so that that's where i am i think they did show a lot but i think they, they've they been smart when they've done this before so i'm not upset by it either that's an interesting that's an interesting take actually greg because uh carpenter as we know is quite influential in this as well because it's his baby and and, and it wouldn't be unlike carpenter to do something like that yeah um i didn't think of carpenter, it like that. carpenter to throw a bluff never Exactly. So, what do you reckon? That that is an interesting uh, that is an interesting narrative that Ted's thrown out there, and probably gives uh, gives us some hope to some of us that may be a little bit um, unhappy Skeptic. about uh, certain scenes in it. Now, I will say, I'm not too happy about where he was found, and I, I heard you, Greg, saying that that pissed you off as well. I didn't I didn't particularly like seeing that. They should they shouldn't have showed that. Um, no. They like. The, I think the original story that I'd read after Kills was it was said a year later, but this trailer has told us it's four, four. years. Four yeah. years, yeah. Um, so, like, this is putting him into his seventies now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To an to an extent or more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Late I think they've they've ran the 
the storyline a little too long for me. Um, I think if you had to set it the year, perfect. I think um, so. Yeah. Two years at most, but to go four years now is is a long time. Like Jamie Lee Curtis would be, Jesus, she'd be in her seventies now as well. So she was eighteen in in the original, and it's what forty. 44 years 44 years on 44 years on yeah 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 do you you think there's a do you think there's a case that can be made then that that may play into the narrative that maybe he's getting that little bit weaker no i i think the narrative of the four years does play in because we see the granddaughter saying to saying to her you know you're obsessed with that you know if it's only a year on they'd be like "Mm, of course like it's only been a year so I, I do think that they had to they had to make it long enough for everyone to be like you're kind of like you're kind of just hanging on to this now you're hanging on to something that's not there anymore you know what I mean the, the mm. one thing I will say is when you see him down in the sewer the mask doesn't fit him properly anymore yeah his face has gotten so too skinny he, he's, mm. he's tinned in which is which is a great little detail to see very very because um, yeah. obviously he was um, what's his name Michael Hall I think his name is a big guy in 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 kills mm. um but obviously been hiding for four years you're not going to be able to sit and eat steaks and shit um so he's now and he's getting older now as well, well and yeah, the, yeah, the, it's the original is, it's the original actor as well yeah yeah, yeah. the mask is also uh you know to sit in later it's still bits, like you, and worn it's worn and but there's bits yeah. falling off it and stuff like so it's not as it's not immaculate I, I, I know immaculate isn't the right word for it because it was never immaculate you know what I mean but it's falling apart now not as, as immaculate well. as that ridiculous uh, mask in uh, Halloween H2O where you can actually see oh, those dashing his eyeballs eyes. down here and all that. Yeah. Dashing, dashing blue eyes uh, oh, wasn't, yeah. it, wasn't it Jamie Lee Curtis looking through the, the circular door window and it's like just one big blue eye. It was like, what? Uh, in the name of Jesus, like as, as blue as the as the deep ocean. <laughs> the mask right for these three. Yeah. Um, and I love the fact that the bullet hole from the original one is still in it, in yes. his neck. And, and things like little... that. They've kept. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. They've kept. They've kept true to the seventy-eight one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then obviously anything that's happened to his face, the mark stays on the mask, um, and whatnot, which is great to see. Um, I think they they overindulged again in the in the trailer. Um, I did say yesterday that I wasn't going to bother watching; it. I was just going to wait and watch the movie. But I gave in almost about forty seconds after it came out. Well, for 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 our craft and for our <laughs> art, I suppose we had to we had to do so. It's uh... yeah. As Bobby the Brain Heenan used to say, we're broadcast journalists, so you know we gotta <laughs> we gotta put ourselves through this. And um, one thing I wanted to just say there before you jump in, Ted, um, w- I wonder if anyone out there still has one of those original uh, William Shatner masks, and see how long they've stood up since 1978 <laughs> and, and and match it to fucking Michaels now because torn it. Turn it inside out Turn and see what happens. Out. That's a hell of a mask. <laughs> yeah, that's still one of the I'd say best. it'd be worth a few pounds as well. Yeah, that's you. still one of the best stories, though, for a mask creation. Just buy a William Shatner mask and turn it inside out, will you? Genius. It was this, Absolutely genius. Like, it's the same, though, when you look at it, right? So that's a great one to do. And then you obviously get Wes Craven's one for Scream. They couldn't get it right, so they walked into a, a pound shop in, in the States. Yeah, yeah and just bought and it. And there it was. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like it, it takes pure genius to turn something like that into into well, what it's became. Making, making chicken salad out of chicken shit, even I, though it also, isn't chicken shit. Like, yeah, it's a bit of luck as well. I, did, I but, think sometimes that it's you know pure genius, and other times it's just we've tried too many things. Listen, let's just go with that, and we'll reshoot if we have to. I think sometimes it's just a, it. yeah, just go it. go simple and just fucking lash that in. Yeah. Um, now what I was going to say is you lads mentioned the. Um, where he, where we first see Michael return in this, um, in the kind of sewers sort of thing. Did you just notice the lad that he grabs? Now, and I'm not 100 percent certain, but I think he grabs him, and then a little while later in the trailer, there's a, a young lad sitting on the stairs, and he says, "What are you gonna do when Michael comes back? Because he is coming back." He lets him go. Yeah, that's the same kid. Now, that's yes. what I was, but that's what I was saying. This is where they're very smart because. Dream. Or well, is it a dream, or does he catch him later? And like, did he go looking for Michael after he said that? 
or did he get let go and come back and say that to them? And see, you've been given those two things, so you've got you've got a lot of information there, but you don't know what order they're going to give them to you in. And that's what, I, sure. that's, that's what I meant about Carpenter being very oh. smart on the stuff that he did give you because yeah. it could be at the start of the film, it could be near the end of the film, it could be fucking anywhere, and it might not even be, you know, important to the film, yeah. but it's always interesting little bits mm. like that. Mm. I'm going to throw the curveball out here. I'm going to say he's one of them kids that was on the roundabout with the shamrock masks. Oh. He was the oldest awesome. one, I'd say. Possibly, the one that was sitting yeah. on the swings. That is interesting. Yeah. I think, he, yeah. I think he's too old, though, even at that, because I think the ones... They well, were I'd still... say he was about 13 or 14, and you're talking yeah. about four years on. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he's, a t- he's, a, he's getting into his adolescence. Uh, you know what I That's mean? That's just yeah. me. Right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, pitch, I'll pop you to a question then before we finish it up for the trailer. Mm-hmm. How does it end? I'm gonna start because I was, I'm, I'm very interested you asked me that because I was, uh, I was gonna go there too. When he's on the table and she pulls the mask off, I was thinking that's a little teaser because obviously people have always wanted to see what's underneath the mask even though we know what the original actor looks like, but they're not going to have him just looking like that. We've seen the back of him, obviously, and we've seen a little, a slight kind of sight of him uh, in... Uh, no, yeah, yeah in, when, he's in, when he's in prison. Yeah. When he's in prison. The so first one see, of these trilogies. You see it though as yes. well when he's getting battered in, yeah. at the end of Ends as well. Yeah, exactly. So... Kills. It will be interesting. Or kills, sorry, kills. Kills, it is kills, sorry. So it will be interesting to see where they go there. I think, man, I think there's a curveball. I don't think it ends the way people expect it to end. And uh, I think they both could die. That's Ted. I'm of the same opinion, but I think, I don't think she kills him. No. The daughter kills him. I don't even think the daughter kills him. Oh, big Will Patton's coming in here. I think Will Patton oh. kills him. I think... Because the whole story is that Will Patton <laughs> didn't kill him. That's the whole story is that Will Patton showed him mercy previously and he didn't shoot him and he kill him when he had the chance. Mm. That's where this whole thing evolves from. So to close the circle, close the book, who's putting the bullet in his head? It'll either be Will Patton or Will Patton's son. I think... Well, I, I think, think the son th- died in the previous film, so that's why I think it's Will Patton. I think the two die. Yeah. Um, I think they die in a fire. That they should it's just set the house on fire, like she did in in kills. Um, but this time she'll take him. She'll either charge him down the stairs or something, and they'll burn. It's not in kills. She does it, is it? It's in the first one of this trilogy. Oh, the end of the first on one and the start. Of, yeah, the, yeah start of the start this one is when he kill. The start of kills is when he kills all the firemen and people were really upset. Can't can't have that. Not allowed to do that. No. Bad, bad juju that. No, I, I do think um, they both die and they, they allude to it quite a few times. Maybe I need to die before he can die. And I think she wants to, to be honest with you, because I think her life is I assumed. fully don't I don't blame her because yeah. look at what they did in that new Texas Chainsaw where they brought Sally back as a different actress and then fucked her over majorly. Here's the question, right? I think two I think obviously uh, the daughters died. So you're left down to the the granddaughter and the main characters. Um, Obviously, Michael, I think, is dying. And I think Will Patton's killing them. But he's going to kill either the, the, the granddaughter or his, his number one, you know, his number one uh, desire. Which one's no, he killing? It's Jamie Lee. Yeah. I don't think so. I think that I uh, think that granddaughter's getting killed. I, because it, I, th- so I think her saying think so many times... think that stops the bloodline then? I think so. I think her saying so many times, I have to die. Maybe I have to die to kill him. I think her saying that so many times is to curve you out to make you think that they're both dying. And I think she'll survive, but the, the rest of her family will be dead. Wow. Mm. That's a we'll nice leave it way there, will we? <laughs> that's, the, that's the perfect way to leave it. All I can say for all of us on the slab is that we cannot wait for this and we will be there day one that that comes out 18 uh, days oh and no doubt we will be bringing you the most epic review that you will find anywhere so full of spoilers full of spoilers so if you don't want it'll be a spoiler alert on the day and we're giving you a spoiler alert now in due course but 
until the next time remember to like and subscribe smash the bell notification button so you get updated because we're literally bringing you content on a weekly basis twice at the moment especially coming up to the season of seven and um, we are of course on twitter at on the slab horror we're on instagram at on the slab horror um, and of course we're on facebook as well on the slab horror so we're literally across all the boards of social media so for me in the dynamo kelly for the g-man greg flanagan and for tombstone ted until next time stay scared and don't look under the bed this halloween month <laughs>